Okay. Thanks so much. Uh, just like I said uh, before, technology is very important, uh, Manuel and uh, Jonathan. There are no two ways around it. Mm. But technology alone cannot cure what ails customer experience. What do I mean by this? It's not a matter of the company thinking because we've got the resources, so we'll deploy this kind of technology. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, in, instead of, uh, for example, tracking KPIs in terms of this system uptime has been 100%, it should be able to track optimization and efficiency. How yeah, but again, system? again, that's a, a large corporate scale. I recognize what you're saying to me, both you and Manuel, but we're dealing with people on LinkedIn, certainly, that are smaller companies. They don't have this infrastructure. I mean, like, so our company uses Salesflare, I think, as a CRM system, but it's so clunky I don't put my customers' details in it. So even though I know what you're saying and should follow it, I actually don't, which means people only appear in my consciousness if I'm thinking about them. Okay. How do you deal uh, with how do you deal with that? Okay, Jonathan, the customer experience can be best told by the customer. Mm. Okay, because it is subjective. It is their experience. This is where a uh, voice of the customer tracking, you know, uh, companies taking time to meet and understand deeply their employees looking at the usage behaviors, whether they are using the state of the art technology or they are putting this in Excel sheet is not the issue. The issue is are they ensuring that they understand the customer insights? What this customer's use, usage behavior should be able to tell you something about them. And okay. customers are also willing to give out this information if companies sold for it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, shut up. No, you shut up. No, you shut up. You shut up. You're the one talking. Well, there's no one else here. Look, everybody, just shut up! <gasps> What's that? The wind! Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. And we're in our last episode. Oh, no! We might come back to this. We'll be fine. Uh, but we're our last episode today of looking at the customer experience. We're joined by Dorothy, by Manuel, by Carol, who's joined us finally, couldn't get in before, and Roy, who's hiding behind his camera. His visage is so attractive, he dare not show his face. So, <laughs> how there you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so um, I've been trying to, throughout the week or throughout the, the episodes, trying to bring what I know is correct on a corporate level down to uh, people that we are in our daily life dealing with, who are smaller entrepreneurs and, and companies that are looking to scale up. And what I want to look at today is the emotional component of purchasing. So let me give you some context uh, about that. Um, basically, if you look at advertising for large brands, advertising, when you step back from it, tells a story about arriving in pleasure or avoiding pain, which are the two main motivators in human behavior. So there's an advert uh, in the UK for a brand of sweets called Haribo Tang Fastics. They're like um, a bitter, chewy sweet that make your mouth water. And there's an advert for this product and it's a child boy and a child girl maybe nine years old obviously out for their first date and the boy puts one of these sweets in his mouth and he goes <sniffs> and the girl thinks that that's an invitation to kiss him so she leans forward and gives him a kiss now that advert has got nothing to do really with the sweet apart from the reaction in the mind 
the advert is showing something which we've all experienced the anticipation the excitement the emotive quality of that first kiss and so when you go into the shop and you see all these thousands of sweet packets and what have you you have an emotional response to their brand because they've associated their brand with that story and that's how marketing works so peeps um Carol, seeing as you've only just joined us, why not give us your personal view on the emotions you've used buying something in the past? Uh, emotions, uh, it was not buying, it was accessing bank services. Okay. Like I was, I was caught, I wanted to make a transaction, I had taken a break from work, I reached, I stood in a queue, took a lot of time. When I accessed the teller, they told me, no, you want Western Union, you have to go to the next. I went to the next. There was someone who was doing a bulky transaction, and I really waited an hour. They, I think they were buying land. I don't know. They counted a lot of money, and they were not really giving attention to me. It was really pissing. So did you complete the transaction, or did you go elsewhere? What happened? No, because of the time and uh, I'm catching up with another place, my friends know I had to move and I look for another place eh, to catch up with the transaction. So Otherwise, I could lose it because I had to stay in the so bank for long. They lost your business. That Those first two places lost your business because of their customer service. Yes. And how did you feel? feel about that if someone said if you were going to rate those companies out of 10 what score would you have given them it would have been a zero <laughs> definitely because i felt so bad like i stood in the queue for long i reached like you know bank queues are, so, mm. are normally long mm. eh? and uh, and on reaching on the desk, they pushed me to the next the next i stood a whole hour those are two hours almost in the bank and failed to get service so you had i had to, so, to, to relocate so uh, i mean i felt I, like they should i would be angry i think yeah it was so bad eh? i imagined because tellers are uh, co-workers and there were so many others were free even at some point they should have realized that this lady had stayed for long yeah and probably as i'm counting cash for this customer let me go on the desk that can do the western union service and i hope this customer and then she goes but no this was not thought about madness madness roy tell me about uh, an emotion that you've experienced as a customer whatever it is 